Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to correctly place a dental dam on my um, typodont. I'm going to gather my materials first and I have my dental dam material and my um, chart to show where to po uh, put my holes in my dental dam. And then I have my clamp that you put on the tooth. I have my dental dam hole punch and my forceps. I also have with me my cotton pliers and my explorer. And I have my dental dam frame. I also have my widget and my floss. And that's it. Okay, so let's get started. First, I am going to decide what tooth I'm going to be working on. And for today's video, I am going to be working on tooth number let's just say 29 so I'll mark that and I actually am going to put my um, clamp this on the tooth behind it so I'm going to punch out tooth I don't know if you can see that number 30 29 28 and 27 so I will just take it off of this and I try to keep it the same way so I don't remember or so I don't forget which way my um, dental dam is facing and I will adjust the size of my punch for the appropriate hole width and for 30 and 29 I'm going to go go ahead and do the bigger ones and then I'll Turn it to do a smaller hole. Maybe. Okay. And I've got my hole punches there. And... So now I'm just going to start um, putting on my dental dam. I will just lay this right here so I remember. Um, I will take my forceps and I place them in the clamp in the appropriate holes and I Stretch it out so it will fit on tooth number 30, which is your first pre or your first molar, and get it as close to the gingiva without being on top. And then release. And that looks pretty good. On right on that gingiva. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, place my rubber dam on and I will first start by going over the clamp and going over the wings and the back and the other wing really hard to see with this angle but I've got it over the clamp now I just need to adjust it using my cotton forceps and I will just adjust as much as I can and I want to cover up all of the holes so no extra material gets down in there 
Then I will start stretching the holes. Oh my goodness. Over my next teeth, like so. And then here, is where my floss will come in. As soon as I get these stretched, whoops, over these holes. I'm going to take my floss. and I will run it between each tooth and I will actually pull my floss out sideways as to not pull out my dental dam material between each tooth. Make sure I have those really good nice in there and I'm actually gonna go ahead and place my wedge it material right now and this goes in the very front of wherever you have your last hole um, placed I don't know if you can see that very well but I have the clamp which is above the tooth that I'm going to be working on since I'm going to be working on 29 and I will actually have it on the last tooth which is 27. It just creates um, a barrier so um, any product doesn't flow down. And then I will just work my way around and I will go ahead and I will use my Explorer to push it down because I want it to be as close to the gingiva as I can without exposing the gingiva. And I just try to push that down as much as possible so it looks like that. And then how I would place it is if on a in a person's mouth. I would actually, to stretch it out, I would put this frame on like this and just so the material stretches all out. Just kind of stretch it, stretch it, stretch it like that. So it's nice and tight like that. I've got, I don't have any lacking material and I'd say it looks pretty good. I have no extra holes. It's down where it needs to be. And that's that. Okay, and now I will